Hi everyone. With the run on hand sanitizers and store shelves becoming bare, I thought I'd chime in with an easy to make formula that meets the 60% or more alcohol guidance specified by the CDC. There are many homemade sanitizer formulations floating around the web, but many of them are not up to the 60% alcohol standard, but this one does. First an important note, washing hands with soap and water is superior to all hand sanitizers and getting rid of bacteria and viruses. So whenever you can, wash your hands, and do so thoroughly. However, in a pinch, if you can't get to a faucet and soap, then a 60% or more alcohol content sanitizer is better than nothing at all. That said, let's get started. All you need is any sort of aloe gel. The aloe will help keep your hands from drying out as you'll be adding alcohol to the mixture. Get the cheapest aloe gel you can find. This is a store brand and it'll be perfectly fine for the task. Then you need a source of high percentage alcohol. In addition to hand sanitizers being hard to find, so are over-the-counter sources of alcohol like you would normally find at pharmacies. With the current shortage, the next most available source of high percentage alcohol is grain alcohol, widely available at liquor stores. It's 95% alcohol. 95% alcohol. With these two ingredients, the proper ratio is 1 to 2. One part aloe gel, two parts alcohol. When you combine the two ingredients in this proportion, you end up with an alcohol content of 63%, which by the way is what nearly all commercial hand sanitizers are. So we're spot on percentage wise with retail products, and most important, we've exceeded the CDC guidance. Let's use this tiny measuring glass to make a small test batch. That way it will only take a few seconds in this video to prepare. Remember our target proportion is one part aloe gel, two parts alcohol. So I'm going to pump in one teaspoon of aloe and then add two teaspoons of alcohol. I use the stir to flatten it out a bit and check my measurement. Good. In practice, you'll probably be using much larger volumes of ingredients, for instance, like 5 ounces of aloe and then 10 ounces of alcohol to get your 1 to 2 ratio. Okay, now we're going to add in 2 teaspoons of alcohol. Mix thoroughly. Now for the real test. I'm going to put a little bit on my fingers. Rub it in. Feels good. It's evaporating quickly. My fingers feel smooth but not slimy and not dried out, which would be the case if we were using straight alcohol. Well there you go. Remember the one part aloe to two parts alcohol and scale up with that ratio to the amount you need to prepare. While I'm thinking of it, let me also provide you with the address of the CDC's superb web page called When and How to Wash Your Hands. It also has an excellent section about hand sanitizers. Remember, soap and water is always the best combination, but in a pinch, I hope this video's hand sanitizer formula will be helpful. Take care.